Okay. I think we got last question. Yeah, just maybe one more. Maybe. Uh, Jocko, can you talk about fear of failure and how to overcome it? Fear of failure. So, obviously, fear of failure can can keep you from taking risk, and it can leave you just sitting there paralyzed into not taking any action at all. And obviously, that's bad. But I don't actually want you to overcome the fear of failure. I want, I want you to be afraid of failure. Fear of failure is good. Fear of failure will keep you up at night planning and rehearsing and going over contingencies. Fear of failure will keep you training hard. It'll stop you from cutting corners. Fear fear of failure will keep you working and thinking and striving and relentlessly trying to be more prepared for battle. So I want you to be afraid of failing. I fear failure. But more important, I want you to be horrified. I want you to be terrified of sitting on your ass and doing nothing. That is what I want you to be afraid of, of waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years and being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the horror. That is the nightmare. That is what you need to be truly afraid of being stagnant. So get up and go. Take the risk, take the gamble, take the first step, take action. And don't let another day slip by. And I think that's all I've got for tonight. And if you got something out of the podcast tonight, you want to hear some more, well, then maybe you should go ahead and support the podcast. And Echo, how can the troopers out there best support the podcast? Well, one of the, or the initial way is to support yourself at the same time. (laughs) And that is to supplement. Um. On it, on it has the best supplements. Uh, I, you know, it's one thing to say they have the best supplements because I like them, but they have for real have the best supplements. <laughs> like the legit, Indeed. you read all the stuff about it, it's, it's straight up the best. Anyway, if you want 10% off there, so support your wallet as well. So you're supporting podcasts, yourself, and your wallet. 10% off on, on it.com it. com slash jungle. <laughs> yep. Solid. Um, also, if you want to passively support, uh, you can do the Amazon click through. That's you go to one of the websites, jockopodcast.com or Jocko, or the Jocko store. There's an Amazon link on the top. Now we have international because um, every once in a while, like people yeah, who are yeah. overseas or yeah. you know international, hey, what about this? Because it's a it, it's a long story, but so, nonetheless, but it's we not have everywhere that now. overseas. It's Canada. The, basically, England. When I started the ones that people have actually. Okay. told me you know like hey we're here in the uk we want to you know be down with the thing or whatever and yeah so so awesome. i did those and um so those are up on both the websites as well thanks for hitting me up with that by the way um overseas support appreciate yes, it yes fully so dope and also speaking of amazon the the new trooper tool that was a, that was a good that's pretty it's a cool little tool thanks again brady for that one it genius and jujitsu student by the way Boa. Um, nonetheless, it's like this tool, you just click it. You go. There's a link to it on things called the called the Troop Jock Podcast Trooper Tool Chrome extension. That's what it's called. Awesome. You click on the thing, 
you just just like you click on the thing if you want to you click on the thing it shows up it's a little icon jocko's head <laughs> and you can even hide that if you don't want it on your browser or whatever you just hide it if you don't want it there but it looks i think it's kind of cool it's up there whatever anyway <laughs> it helps you go to it makes you go to amazon it helps it go through the affiliate link so you don't have to go through the website anymore it does it automatically for you i think it sa- saves some time right you know uh also you know of course subscribe to the itunes and youtube i think we're gonna pump some more value in youtube put some outtakes on there i think i like that i like where you're coming from yeah subscribe to the YouTube subscribe to the youtube channel that would be cool so we know that you're out there and you're gonna receive these things that echo's put together yeah and then also the uh the jocko podcast store yeah if you like shirts, the, if you wear shirts. Who was it? Jocko Store? JockoStore.com. JockoStore.com. Yep. Some cool t shirts. I still have I, think cool. I still have yet to see one in the wild, not someone I know. So I'm yep. looking forward to seeing that somewhere in the world. Somewhere yep. on planet Earth. I am thoroughly enjoying the pictures that people send. Yeah, they're awesome. You know what's funny? The 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 Heather Gray, right? The, yeah. The, the gray. It's like that's the kind of shirt, like you know, a lot of lighter colored shirts. They get real, um, like dark if you sweat in them or right, whatever, you know. Right. So there'll be like pictures where I don't even know why I think this is funny, but it's interesting because the other one is charcoal gray. That's a dark gray. So they'll be like, "Yeah, I got my discipline material," and I see the bottom like looks like a stripe. I'm like, "Wait, what? That's weird. How the lighting is, or so there's a stripe on the bottom of your shirt, but it's not the charcoal gray one. It's a, you know they they were getting after it's, it's an indication so of getting after it. Yes, very much so. Anyway, I don't know why they thought that was funny, but it's. it's it looks funny. Not funny like I'm laughing at them, but it's interesting how it looks like a shirt and it's like an optical illusion. Anyway, jockostore.com. There's some other shirts on there if you like them. Coffee mugs and stickers. Awesome. Bumper stick. Also, if you like the podcast and you want more of this information, there's a book that I wrote with uh, my brother Leif Babin. It's called Extreme Ownership. You can order it through Amazon. Or you can get anywhere books are sold. It's available in hardcover, digital, and audio format. And the audio format, Leif and I actually read. So get some of that. If you want to talk to Echo and I, you can find us on the interwebs at Twitter. Echo is at Echo Charles. And I am at Jocko Willink. We're also on the Facebooky and some of that Instagram. I got like a pictures. Snapchat thing. I signed up for it or whatever, mm-hmm. but I haven't done anything with it yet. Yeah. So I got to explore that. But man, the social media <laughs> stuff takes yeah, some time. Yeah. And and I can't. If you want me, find me on Twitter. That's the best way. Yeah. Ask your questions on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter. That's the most common thing that I use. Uh, I do, I do check Facebook. I mean, I read everything that has ever been sent to me. I've read, I might not have responded to it cause I can't literally can't respond to every single thing that gets sent to me. Mm. Uh, which is what's nice about on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. I can just hit that. I like it, right. you know, so that people know like, Oh, he read it. Cool. Yeah. On Facebook, I read it, but there's nothing to press to say, I read your thing. So, um, Maybe I should figure something out like that. But anyways, yeah. you tweet. You're solid on tweet. Like you get back to people and stuff, which is cool. Because there's some people where you can tell it's not them. It's like their their social media. Person, yeah, well, it's me. And I was just out where where I just was. There was very limited internet, so I was able to get like a tweet out in the morning. Yeah. A couple tweets out in the morning. But when I'd go to start responding, it was you know Taking a three while. minutes to, get yeah. to 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 look at the tweet from somebody so i'm backed up right now for like five days four days behind or something like that five days behind actually yeah but see even you're saying that like that you're like backed up it means like that you're you know you're engaged man that's good yeah but even then i was reading and i I do man if you send me something on twitter i'm gonna see it i'm gonna read it i might not respond to it directly but i might bro (laughs) i've had a day actually more than once too but i'm remembering a very specific time a day where i wasn't gonna go to jujitsu i wasn't gonna go i was you know today's Mm -hmm. rest day what i don't know whatever i wasn't gonna go we call we call that weakness (laughs) (laughs) maybe call it what you want nonetheless um when you see pictures of i saw i I don't know the 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 name of the the specific person but i saw a picture first day of jujitsu 
And I'm like, you know how you get that feeling when, like, let's say you weren't at jujitsu, and I took a picture of me on the mat saying, Fu, I'm here without Jocko. I'll do that every once in a while to, like, my friends. Or I'm here without Jocko. And it's, you kind of, like, you have this feeling like, dang, I wish I was there right now just to mm. whatever. I kind of got that feeling. That weird competitiveness you were talking no, about earlier? No, it's more you like, oh, me? I want to be there with you. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Break. Oh, by the way, I, I don't know if you knew this. Um, you know, like, guys will be like, hey, I want to come visit you at... at the gym or whatever, mm-hmm. right? And to, to me, it's like, Oh, you had a, a guy showed up when I was out of town. Yeah. And, That's you know, awesome. I, I, t- I say the days, like I go on this, these days typically and whatever. So just hit me up, whether it be on Twitter or whatever, if you are in town. And, but he did. And because he, the, the reason that's significant, one of the main reasons what I said too. Where is, was he from? Um, Arizona. So Arizona, his name's AB. AB, the man, showed up, rolled money. Yeah. So, because a lot of people in life, I'm not saying just on Twitter, I'm just saying in life. <laughs> They always will be like, hey, oh, you do Jesus? So yeah, I'm going to come by and you can show me or I'll roll or whatever. And I would say a good 95 to 99% of the time, they don't they don't come. Yeah, well, a lot of times they're hitting you up from a place or farther in the way than, than Arizona. No, I'm even talking about like before the podcast and stuff. I'm saying like your friends, you know. My, my oh, just, oh, friends yeah, 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 Whatever, people, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Hey, yeah, I'm going to come check it out. Sounds cool, you know. And they never Had come, this dude man. rolled before? Abby? Uh, AB? AB, yeah. Um, was he a jiu-jitsu yes, player? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh, a, a jiu-jitsu player. Uh, yeah, he was like a three straight white belt or something like Dang, that. Dang, he's know coming he, up. Yeah, but cool, nice guy, you know. That's awesome. Anyway, he was cool. What's up, baby? The man. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and and obviously, I just want to give a shout out. We talked about some soldiers today, but I want to give a thanks to all the police out there. I, I hear a lot from police officers all over the country, and thanks to you guys for doing your duty to keep us safe. Same thing for the firefighters. I've actually hear a lot from fire there's all kinds of firefighters yeah. and all you guys that are protecting us on the home front obviously much appreciated and then of course the military folks out there especially those that are deployed right now taking the fight to the enemy be aggressive and crush them and we'll see you when you get home and finally to all the to all the jocko podcast troopers out there Thank you for the support across the board with all this. We appreciate it. And what we really appreciate more than anything is you out there in your life taking ownership of your world and getting after it. So until next time, this is Echo and Jocko out.